Hey everybody, this is Tony with Change the Way. We're out here in Placerville, California with Tina and Robert Henderson at uh, Camp Henderson here where Molly and I have been camping out over there and went in uh, Rexy. Where were you before we showed up with your eating, with what was physically going on? Where were you at? If you were to just give us a platform, like how did you, how were you feeling? Were you sick? Were you unhealthy, healthy? What would you consider yourself? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Sick. Wanting change. Wanting change. Okay. So we arrive and then we beat on your door and we're telling you all this stuff, right? Was it too much? Was it not enough? Was it easily assimilated? Just all of the above. I don't think not enough. Anybody that you hang out with for over a couple hours and gets to pick your brain is going to say that seven days is enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'd like to be. We. It, it would if be you cool could just camp, could just all, camp the time. Here all the time. <laughs> See, that's good now, America. You're going to want us to come around. Okay, so uh, give us. Let's go with three takeaways. Okay. okay. So what would be the first takeaway that you can say has, you've been able to uh, bring into your life that's gonna stay into this, this lifestyle that has affected you the most? Um, first it would be our food choices, the way we eat. Okay, how's it different or what did we do? We are drinking green smoothies. Um, we have eliminated fat. We've learned to, we know what our our food should comprise of so that we can get the most from our food. And um, that's probably the most important thing. I mm -hmm. love Gallo Pinto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the Gallo Pinto, the smoothies, what did they replace? Like if you brought these ideas in, what, what is no longer there? So we left out, we're leaving out um, well, for one, not eating. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> you're now we're, now not we're eating. eating. Yeah. yeah. We, we would leave without any breakfast. Yeah. And then we would not put food in our mouth until 2 o'clock in the day, and that's when you're making bad choices because you're starving. And we'll so, take whatever we can get at that point. Yeah. So it's been, we're eating more and feeling so much better. No, I was just about to say, now eating this way, do you feel better or do you feel worse? hundred times better. hundred times better. hundred times better. Okay. Yeah. And what, um, if you don't mind my asking, uh, you were having some issues before. Yes. With some, uh, well, tell America what's well, been so going on. Well, so I have, <laughs> I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, and so I take some medication for that. And then a, a side effect of some medicine uh, had them take my gallbladder out, and so I have a very hard time processing food and my body wasn't assimilating food. So I would have, you know, I would eat something and within 10 minutes it would be out forcefully in embarrassing situations and, and I don't have that. This week has changed my life because now with our schedule and our jobs and the things that we have to do, we're in the public all the time and I, I couldn't afford an accident. And now I don't got to worry about it because I'm my food's being assimilated and it's great. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, number two, one of the things that you were discovering on one of the hikes that we did was all about the story that's rambling in your mind. Can you tell America a little bit about that? Tell them about the story. So my story <laughs> is, okay, I started on a hike, the very first hike we did, and, or the second hike we did, and I was falling behind immediately and so I got in my head that I was letting everyone down in the group because I was keeping everyone behind or because I was being I couldn't handle it and so with your help I learned that I can change my story it's what's in my head I don't have to worry about everybody else taught me how to breathe properly and also um, enjoy the, the hike I, I was so caught up in getting exercise and keeping up and everything else that I was forgetting that this was a fun thing to do. And so I learned to get out of my own way. Yes. It's all about releasing the story. And Change I made the state. entire hike. Yes, you did. <laughs> Three and a half miles, which she was totally surprised about at yes. 8,000 feet in elevation. Yep. All right. So um, 
if there was one thing you could leave America with right now, Tony and Molly are driving around the country, we're going to be stopping at different places, what could you tell the next family to expect or to not, uh, is it really going to happen that they may, may have thought was going to happen when we get there? What's something, a message you could leave for them that will help them change their way as well? Embrace the change. Yeah. Don't get in your own way. Yeah. You keep your, be open-minded. Take it in Ta and take the help, the advice and the, Obviously, Definitely don't if you've lock been your doing door. You want them in your driveway. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you've been doing something and you're not feeling good, then you obviously need a change. So when the change comes, don't fight it. There's no no sense in saying, well, but I, I always do this. Well, right. yeah, you've always done that, and you're always getting in your own way. And so now embrace the change. And also, too... Um, that there is never, there is not one single excuse you could come up with that they don't have a solution for. You, 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 you can name a million things and they have a solution for it. So there's no sense in lying and coming up with reasons to not <laughs> embrace it because there's a way. And uh, I love it. Yep. We're going to be seeing you soon in... At some point down the road. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is Tony, Tina, and Robert at Camp Henderson in Placerville, California. California. <laughs> we'll see you a little bit farther down. Change the wave, America. Change the wave. Change the wave.